Hi, welcome everyone to the channel Clash of and with the game Boom Beach. Uh, today I want to do the second piece of my beginner guide about uh, Boom Beach. Uh, some tips, some descriptions, some advice that are really important for new beginner or maybe a little bit old. Uh, I can say the people that need more experience and everything. Yeah. Okay, the thing is, uh, the important thing is that I want to show you is uh, the statue. Which statue can be really useful for a beginner? Okay, I will tell you the first that really very very important statue is normally if you ask me is the um, power stone change. Why power stone change? Because if you get power stone change, for example, I have here 21 person, 24 and 25. It's almost 70 percent more power power stone change. That's important because you need really, really at begin too much power stone to create this everything. That means you will you have more chance to get this stone. And if you are lucky like me, for example, now I have a one. So please drop damage 26 percent drop damage it's really awesome for me i am a level uh, 12 hit uh, hq and yeah you can put of course or maybe you got 30 or 40 percent uh, life uh, hit, po uh, hit points yeah hit points statue then you can put them too but important mostly important is if you are lucky you get a power stone chance in 50 percent masterpiece then you can get three of them then you will get because power stone are really 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 too much important for beginner that way my first tips for you try to get uh, first your statue and try to get power stone chance where do you get mostly the uh, sorry wait uh, I will reclaim the end and I can show you where I, I can get the dark stone, uh, dark crystal. The mostly the way that you can get the dark crystal is here. The doctor, I can't get over for my maximum was four because I am a little bit uh, too high with my medallion, uh, victory points. Sorry, yeah, victory points too. I'm a little bit high. That way I get always the. Um, I think it's balanced something like this then I get a you see it's stage 4 and watch this enemy oh my god he have over 10,000 uh, hit points of almost all of his yeah all of his tower I can never beat them with my drops I need to be really really strong and that's not possible at my that way I stop it but try to do your terror stage that's really important then you get your uh, dark crystal mostly here that's very important don't skype them never it's get it's going quick if you do the three stage then you get uh, ah, it's it's really quick you know what i mean don't forget to do then the dark crystal it uh, then is with the uh, dark crystal possible to get power stone change etc that's really important that way do your third stage and the um, other one it's gate automat automatically uh, if you are doing normal enemy or something like this so if you get a frost enemy uh, like here then you will get the other stone for defense your base or boost your base defense uh, damage the tower tower damage on your defense or you boost the high hit points on it that's that's that stone is really defensive that's very important. Don't forget this uh, to do the snow plates, snow ba base with snow. Then you will get this stone. And the other stone, I think, uh, normally um, you get from PvP, like this, for example, the red one. Yeah, that's from PvP possible. If you beat a player, then you get the red stone that uh, boosts your drops and your. Um, yeah, your drops defense, uh, I mean hit points or your drops damage. That's very important. And the last one, the green one, I think you get from resource base or something. I'm not sure if I'm wrong. Forgive me about this. Uh, I think you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, it's from NPCs. You get the green one. Green one mean 
you will get a boss uh, for your resource reward or um, maybe for uh, re resource production that you get more resource production that's always possible that's for resource the green one don't forget this all is very important for a beginner to be a strong quick stronger you need your power stones and try to be uh, try to get really really too much power stone as you can that's important don't forget this that's my beginner tip that's very important is okay the next one is I said on my last uh, part of video or recordings uh, don't focus on your base at begin don't do this let people ride you if they like spend your gold or your resource try to spend always don't put it too much resource in your vault or everywhere you know what I mean storage um, yeah but uh, try to spend your resource and don't focus to the defense or base or I mean don't focus your defense try to focus first your landing craft and everything I said in my last record video too that's important and one of most important thing is oh my god was get again my base okay during we are talking I take my base again this was this guy without lying this guy have attacked me I am sure over 50 time over 50 time and he never give up and I am me too yeah he tried to new base design take my base someone but have to give up I don't know who I didn't give up yeah that's the wrong uh, first if I attack because the stupid rocket launcher focusing sometime my Zoka that's really dangerous for my Zokas that's why um, I'm definitely I lifted first um, rocket launcher and yeah I'm using mostly my uh, I don't know what the really uh, name about this I call them stun I'm using my stun skill mostly that's really important because uh, yeah you know. Okay, he tried now a new tactic. I will design new base design, but I will not. I will not change the design of him. That's no problem. So, oh shit, the flammer thrower is really strong against. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I got. It. I got it. But I lost some drops. I'm. I'm sure two or three drops. Oh yeah, two. Okay, I get my base again. Yeah. Every time you get the base, <coughs> uh, it will uh, be level up something, some tower. That's really uh, nice. I like this game. I like it. Yeah, I got now again the base. Uh, this guy have attacked me over 50 times, I'm sure. This base, not me. He have attacked this resource base over 50 times. And then one, one really important thing is, guys, upgrade your radars and explore the new uh, map new 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 map new uh, yeah you you have if you if you get a new map that's mean uh, if you open the map you have more lucky to get something new like here is bigger is better you know what I mean don't forget this for a beginner first upgrade your radars and get open your a new location on your map and try to get resource base uh, or yeah attack the NPCs and everything don't forget this everything yeah and there is more going on task force and uh, yeah try to do with them uh, the mich mission yeah, in in in, in uh, Bombage is not like a Clash of Clan or something. It's really different task force, but it's fun to it make fun too if you get higher level. Bombage is a game that you are really that you get really mostly fun if you are a little bit over uh, level 14 or 16 tone hall. I think I'm not sure what is the max tone hall, but uh, yeah. But it's a fun game, it's a nice game, it's really really good game. I, I love this game more than Clash of Clans, but okay, that's not the tema, uh, that's not the point that we wanna know. That's my new beginner tips, advice, 
don't forget this all then you will get better and quick to be strong okay guys thank you to be watching and subscribe for more and maybe a like that you want more about Warm Beach and yeah have a good day and ciao